Hello and welcome. This video is going to discuss the new tutorial series coming to this channel and it is going to be a good one. There's been so much talk about how to do 3D in Construct 3 and I have put together a comprehensive explanation of how 3D works in Construct 3 and how to accomplish many other game mechanics in a 3D world. If you are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that big red button so you won't miss any of the 3D game making tutorials. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up as well. I always appreciate your support. So, what can you expect from this new series coming up? Well, it's not actually going to be a game. I created several projects trying to find an efficient way to show you how to achieve different things in 3D. But in the end, I figured out that making a base project with all the basics and then adding new mechanics and features in future videos would be better for those of you just starting out as well as those of you just looking to learn one specific thing rather than make a whole game. The idea is that after the first video, you could watch any of the other videos in the series in any order you want. This means the first video will be a long one. It'll contain all the information to get set up in 3D. We'll start out in the first video setting up controls for the player and then we'll set up a 3D camera. Once we have a working controllable player, we'll start making 3D shapes and understand how to properly size the 3D shape and add textures. Then we'll set up a very simple room to use for testing our future 3D projects. After that, we'll finish off the video with a bit more complex 3D game mechanic. In this section, we'll figure out how to create our own gravity and use that to get the player to jump and be able to fall from higher ground. Then we'll use this same code to give the player the ability to walk up and down stairs. And then we'll wrap things up with making elevated platforms to jump up on and walk under. I mentioned these features because Construct 3 is still a 2D engine and collisions are handled in 2D space. So jumping up onto higher ground and walking under platforms requires a little bit extra thinking when using Construct 3, but it's all possible and once we have all of this set up, you'll be able to start creating games in 3D using Construct 3. The first video in the series will serve as a base template for most of my future 3D tutorials. That way we don't have to mess around with setting up a player every time we want to learn a new mechanic in 3D because this can be a little time consuming. So I already have a few more 3D tutorials lined up to follow this next video. We'll cover level blocking and set dressing. Another video will cover doors and in another one we'll make elevators and moving platforms. And as I come up with additional creative ideas to work on on in 3D, I'll add those videos to this series. All right, that's some pretty big news for this channel. I really think this series is going to be a big help for many of you out there wanting to play around with 3D. There are a few example projects on the start page of the Construct 3 engine, but I don't really feel like they help that well with someone that might not have any idea of how this stuff works. And that is why I make these videos to give all of you out there a more detailed explanation of why we do things the way we do in game programming. So if you find yourself struggling with game development using Construct 3 or you just need a quick tip or refresher on a specific mechanic, then this is going to give you a huge jump start in 3D. And then the rest of my channel will give you that same jump start in 2D game development. One last thing I want to mention before I go. The methods used in these first few videos will likely change over the next year or so. I strongly believe the folks over at Construct 3 will implement new plugins, behaviors, and actions that will reduce the need for much of the code that we create in the beginning of this series. Now, I don't know when that will come, so for now, these videos will cover all you need to know to get started making 3D games. Okay, that's all I have for you right now. Sorry about not having much content uploaded to this channel recently. Real life is way busier than it has been the last couple of years and I have struggled to get anything done lately. But all of the projects I've mentioned in this video have been completed. All I have to do is record and edit the tutorial and that will be happening over the next few days and then more in the next few weeks. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Hit that thumbs up for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next 3D video.